Over the past 40 years, CREC has been making a difference in the lives of children by strengthening our commitment to creating and delivering a wide array of high-quality programs and services for the educational needs of the children, families, and educators we serve. If you've had the feeling lately that the country seems to be getting a little more crowded, you're right. The tally board at the Department of Commerce tells the story. The population of the United States is reaching a new high and growing by one new citizen every 11 seconds. The late 60s and the early 70s were an exciting, turbulent time of great social and technological change with unforgettable music, fashion, civil rights, and women's liberation, classic TV and film, and a bold, creative view of society. In 1966, the metropolitan effort toward regional opportunity was established. It was really just a project. It was Project Metro, which was a federally funded program, and it was a planning grant. Project Metro began to lay the seeds for early programs at CREC, including a media resource center. What you could do is you could get high quality stuff, spread that cost and its use over many school districts, but really not impact its curriculum. Soon after, CREC itself was founded under legislature, making it the first of six intermediate education agencies throughout the state. CREC was founded because there were needs that crossed town lines. During that time, John J. Allison Jr. headed our first offices at Beaver Road in Wethersfield. John Allison scared me to death. <laughs> However, <laughs> I absolutely admired John's vision for Crick and his high standards. John was a real straight shooter, and John would basically tell it like it is. Uh, he didn't beat around the bush at all. He was very open to new ideas. Since he was a science teacher when he started, he was very analytical, and he would really help you think through projects. John was wonderful. Uh, you know, John always encouraged uh, new ideas and thinking and thinking outside of the box. Everybody really knew that John knew his stuff um, in terms of what his vision was and he knew the state and he knew the politics. John Allison was really uh, loved to, to host parties for the employees, especially at Christmas. He was well known for wearing these great red plaid pants. 